Well, tonight in medical rounds, a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease is, of course, life-changing. But there are a variety of new treatments that allow patients to lead a fulfilling and productive life. As part of the Neuroscience Institute, Hartford HealthCare has developed a movement disorder center. Dr. Joy Antonelle de Marqueda is the medical director, and she is joining us live now from Hartford Hospital to explain more. Welcome, Dr. Marqueda. De Marqueda. Thank you very much for having me. Let's start with just an uh, orientation of what is Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder occurring most commonly in people 65 and older and affecting primarily the fluidity of movement. Patients present with a resting tremor, slowness of movement, changes in walking or balance, and rigidity of the muscles. So tell us about the new Hartford HealthCare Movement Disorder Center and how it can help. That's right. We are really excited about the new Movement Disorder Center of Hartford HealthCare because we are bringing together the expertise of many specialists and providers and not just a Parkinson's or Movement Disorder Specialist to provide and offer a more integrated, comprehensive, and holistic approach to care. We'll have everyone from psychologists to Reiki practitioners, social workers, psychiatrists, physiatrists, even dance instructors as part of our team. Because I believe that for patients to do well, we need to be able to address all of their needs and concerns and not just their neurologic symptoms. That's great to have everything under one roof. What are some of the new novel approaches that you're offering now in treating Parkinson's disease? You know, not a lot of people are aware of this, but we actually have over 20 medications for Parkinson's disease right now. And every couple of years, new medications come out. So we really have a lot of optimism in the field. I have a particular interest, and my training is actually in experimental therapeutics and movement disorders. Yeah. So. The patients in our program are also given the opportunity to be part of cutting edge research for these conditions. And some of that, I hear that you actually provide dance to the patients. How does that help with their That's disease? Right. Yes, yes. The beauty of dance as an exercise form for Parkinson's disease is that it not only incorporates the cardio benefits of exercise, but also helps with flexibility, endurance, balance, and there is the social aspect of dance and just the joyful expression to dancing that I believe offers psychological and mental benefits beyond the physical. The benefits of exercise for Parkinson's disease and other neurologic disorders has actually been documented in over 250 studies at this point, more than half of which was published just in the last five years. So any form of Parkinson's disease exercise is good, but dance, I think, is a favorite of mine. And fun as well. Thank you so much, Dr. DeMarqueda, for sharing this important information tonight.